Why am I nervous? And hi, everyone. I'm excited to get to show you some of the new experimental features we've been working on for Unreal Engine 5.2. Unreal Editor for Fortnite runs on PC and is integrated directly with Fortnite, so you have access to over four years of content, all for free. That's crazy. <laughs> That's What's crazy. special about UEFN is what we call Live Edit. Live Edit allows anyone on your team to join a UEFN session from any platform that runs Fortnite. What? That means someone yeah. can join from a console yeah, using the normal Fortnite client, and they're able to work <laughs> alongside and collaborate with PC users. UEFN has access to all Fortnite creative so people can devices, test the changes our modular live. gameplay systems that work in the in-game editor. This allows you to instantly add gameplay and quickly bootstrap your game from the hundreds of gameplay devices already available. The UEFN beta has many of the same features we use to create Fortnite, including the landscape editing tool set. You can edit the landscape to change the look of your island or make sweeping changes to create something completely new and then quickly play it in game to check out the results. So even though you have access to tons of Fortnite content, with UEFN you can make content that looks nothing We're like danced. Fortnite. Oh my god. This is Holy a section from Dude, what? A tech demo built in UEFN. Bro, this is crazy. Today. <laughs> a big feature of UEFN is the ability to import your own custom oh, assets. Oh my god. So we used a few bro. 3D models, textures, and materials that we Dude, built just for the project. This is massive. And all the lighting in the cave was made possible thanks to Lumen, our real-time oh, These, these demos are live, so we should check these out right after this. You can also find more right content, like Quixel Mega Scans and Sketchfab models, in our initial alpha release of the Fab plugin this for is UEFN. All assets are curated and optimized for use <laughs> Fortnite, and the full version of Fab will launch later this year. You can also create and modify materials, so you can change the look and feel of objects Jeez. easily. And you can import skeletal meshes and then animate using sequencer. I'm sure it's hard rig. to do this, but some Everything of it also looks easy. Everything you've just seen is available today in the public beta version of Unreal right. Editor like, for Fortnite. Like, like when they just add the texture right. and it changes. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> like, dude, I, the, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want in Fortnite. You can do anything, it. and you can be a Fortnite in it. So, dude. it's a short video of just like the most condensed way we could show some of the like the more important workflows. But I think a much better way is to tempt fate. And let's do a live demo on PC. Live testing is actually really, really Fortnite interesting. Servers, like being able to have right someone in game and uh, you change yeah. something, like they can test the it immediately. Take it away. So this, so this is live right now. They're going to show us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're live testing. They're going to do this live right now. Yeah. It's for dance, bro. <laughs> of course they make it look exactly like Warzone. Bro! Wait, was this, so was this made in creative? This is made in oh, UEFN. It is, it is. Oh my god, dude, it's a literal <laughs> dig at, at Warzone. It literally is. Bro. What? Bro, do they have the aim assist nuts. turned off, bro? What's going on? Man, with they should have got Nick Mertz on the sticks for this. <laughs> Shit, y'all see what I'm talking about? This is a big f***ing deal. Okay, okay a, it, now imagine you take the Fortnite character and you change it to look like like a, like a soldier or something, and you change the right. texture. And now it doesn't even look like I'm Fortnite. I'm glad that went well. <laughs> all right. Hey, folks. So let's talk about this how all this was made. We, ha we hand placed enemies using a creative device called a guard spawner. So to do this, we used our new programming language called Verse. Every Guys, if you second, want a job, learn how to code in Verse. And yeah. Literally, Chad, location, they're telling you right now the if you want to get involved to in gaming. So now we have gameplay that's more reactive to the player's actions. Now, Michael is going to show us how we put the intro cinematic together. So before the gameplay section, we played this quick cinematic animation. This was actually created entirely in UEFN using Sequencer. Because so, imagine that like, after the Victor Royale, uh, there's a cutscene where the helicopter yeah, comes up and you go up with the helicopter. Let's take a look at this last <laughs> just like, just like yeah, And just like in the movies, you can frame up shots and have great effects. That looks so, so freaking cool. cool. Just a sampling of some of the stuff that you can do inside Sequencer. And thanks to Lumen, both daytime and nighttime look great. Holy now, let's go to the final <laughs> gameplay section Dude, and let's close out the demo. Everything that you're seeing here was created in the same version of UEFN that we're releasing <laughs> on today. So everything you see here. This is a, I'm all for that. They can make this today. Someone can, oh. someone can literally make this. Even yes. the cutscenes and everything. <laughs> of course they bring the Mac back, bro. <laughs> Nuts, man. 
This is why I told you to turn off performance. <laughs> because we're gonna check this out. <laughs> Like, so someone programmed this boss fight. People are, people are gonna start making like impossible boss fights that only like 1% of the player base can beat. Line it up. That is so sick, dude. I, I wonder if they could say how long they spent making this. Fortnite players who have fun engaging in islands tend to spend more in the item shop. Creators who make popular islands are bringing real value to the Fortnite ecosystem, and we're gonna share the resulting revenue with them. Oh my God. This is the engine powering a creator economy 2.0. We believe this so strongly, we will distribute 40% of Fortnite's Jeez. global net revenue to eligible my. creators who publish games in Fortnite, both independent developers and apps. That's billions. Anything we with make, a B. like Battle Royale, billions Zero of Build, dollars. also participates in the pool, we imagine thousands of third-party development teams building wild. businesses and thriving yes. with this thousands, model. Thousands, tens of thousands. Payments from the pool are based on performance of your island. There's no need to design cunning monetization loops yep. or extractive gating items. You make an island the players love. That is all you need. You just have to, to focus on making a, good, making a good game. Making a good game. Creator Economy 2.0 is live right now. For eligible creators who are currently publishing, we are backdating the engagement mm. payouts to the beginning of this month. Wow. For nice. details and to sign up, go to create.fortnite.com. Islands built using creative tools already account for roughly 40% of playtime in Fortnite. That's billions of hours a year. Oh, I don't think they've already said this publicly. Growing with UEFN. So this is a sample of games Fortnite in Fortnite dying, today. By the way, though. What we have noticed <laughs> is that players are more engaged, they have more fun when they play Epic's own games like Battle Royale and community games made by creators like you. Like the combination is what makes Fortnite special and what is going to help us all grow. If creative is accounting for 40% of playtime, on Real Engine, it's Epic close to overtaking to VR. Awesome. Of uh, course, our long term goal of bringing the entire feature set of Unreal Engine to UEFN, but yep. also over time to expose many of the other services that Epic offers. So the entire engine to UEFN, meaning you could just create Fab anything, like literally today, anything, whatever you want. UEFN yeah. in an alpha version. And products this like is massive, bro. You can literally put anything into Fortnite. In the <laughs> future, and dude, you missed this meta vision. human demonstration they did. They the showed like Fortnite, an iPhone recording and turned it into an in-game like animation in, really in like minutes. Problem. And when you publish the UEFN, your original IP and your assets are yours to take anywhere. Holy sh! To support developers who adopt UEFN, we're broadening the Epic Mega Grants program to help teams bootstrap projects that use UEFN and Verse. And we hope that you'll join us and help shape. Yo, the Epic, I need a Mega Grant. I got, I got something. Thank you very much. Is Epic Real Future Vision relevant to us? I, don't, I mean, so far it's all been relevant. Yeah, yeah, we still and it's Tim, bro. It's Tim. What? Yo, yo, yo. What is this? I, I mean. Yo, did you see the texture on that? That looked like a cartoon. Almost like, border, almost like Borderlands. -y. Yeah. This is okay. Well, I'm officially climaxed. <laughs>